Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use um, SCDL Trados um, to um, assist with uh, proofreading or uh, translation work. So basically, if you have those these two documents uh, that you would like to um, do a proofreading, and uh, then you have to put it on the screen on the right. Let's say I put on on the right here. Yeah for the Hmong language and then you go back here and uh, you get an English one okay so you have to screw up and down and try to sometimes you are somewhere here and then you are on you are lost because you need to go here and then trying to see where are you right now so um, it's a bit uh, difficult uh, and then you have to look at here and then you got last 10 most of the time you are losing so much time because um because of the the view of um the two language and sometimes even when um the translation is like this let me check okay sometimes it is like this um because among language or other target language is often longer than than the english one so for example this one so you can see rate of infection in community setting are increasing and then you are trying to read this part and then uh, you are already um quite um yeah it's just really see it's up to already somewhere here yeah. okay so with this um it's uh, difficult for you to uh, do a pro reading and uh, you look at somewhere here um the the this one is in the target this year and this is already in the other pages so for example you are in this page and you're trying to do it and eat it here and then you screw up and you try to look at oh it is here and then the other one is just trying to look at somewhere here 20 percent and you screw up here again to look here and sometimes if you are unlast you are not sure whether it is tw this one 20 percent or other one so you are trying to um um do it up and down and this is still much better in case i i found a lot of cases like this okay Exam examples so this uh, english is up here and then the the target is somewhere down in this page because of the more characters to be um, put into uh, the target language and more than the sources. Uh, so with this, uh, it's very difficult. You spend a lot of time, so then you are lost track and you have to find again where you left up. And as you can see here, so sometimes um, if you are trying to put this one down along with this one, then you might need to change the format of the, the source where you are not allowed to touch of the source. Yeah, so with this, you spend a lot of time going up and down and even yeah, in the first one that you use uh, two pages like this, um, it got even very difficult for you as well. Yeah, so with this, um, I'm going to show you how I have been using the SDL one, which is very helpful and I will also teach you how it works to extract it back to original form. Example, let's see if we got this file. We got this file, I call it, um, uh, this is the more one, let's get an English one. This is a GDM, okay? The, and this is my research on, um, this is a good research, though, of my um, bachelor um, uh, college of nursing. All right, so let's say we want to translate this, okay? Using SDL. And then we want to do a proofreading and how it work. So I first go to um, SDL. <laughs> what is going on? I need to create an um a folder here. Let's put the folder here at the last Z testing. Okay. All right. So Z testing. I want to copy this one. I put it inside. Okay. Let's see again, let's open if it work. Right, so it work. Right. 
So with this, I am going to, you can see here, you can go to welcome here, it's the SDL 2019. Um, so you, when you go here, you can go here, open new projects, uh, this is new projects, or you can even go to a project here, and then you can click on open project, or you can go to new projects. So in this case, I, I want to go to new project and I rename this one again. I put it Z. Z. Testing. And I choose the pathway, which is, um, it's already in the testing. So I put it, uh, not yet. Let's check down. Tutorial. Z testing. Okay, so I see like four. Um, whatever is already contained, specific point not, not necessitating borders. Let's see if this works. Uh, okay. Oh no, this is not. Need to go Z testing, and then I put one. Okay. Oh, let's put it this way. The X is allowed, but I'm not allowed for that. So let's say sing for. Testing. What? This is not working. So let's try to fix the folders here. Um, so that's mean I need to change this one. Edit this one. No. I need to put a folder here inside here. So Z test. Okay. I uh, try to see if this work. Um. Yeah. Go again. Tutorial, Z testing, Z testing, right? So you got that in in the photos. Here I want to have in Hmong language. You can have in any language here. No. Now take it out. The other on the language, Hmong language. And first of all, I need to go to add the file. So here I can go to the photos that I have here, Z testing, and I get this file, right? So with this, I can go next. Okay, let's wait for it. All right, you got a file here. Click on it and go next. And next. Um, getting slow. Yeah. So um, basically um, these things should be removed. Um, I just need only one. This is they call uh translation memories. So actually the SDR will remember all the terms that you use, you edit and you put it into the system. So um, here I use system as examples um, so that uh, the translation will be much easier, consistent. Um, example using the same word of the same translation document throughout the project. So with this, I can use this. Um, this English the Hmong TM or translation memory and next. Uh, you can also use tomb base. The tomb base is um, so the translate translation memories is more sentence the whole paragraph that you translate and it put into memories. So um, if you have the same translation materials it will automatically uh, match for you either 80%, 90%, or exactly of 100%. But for team base, if it's a glossary, so um, it's like a, a dictionary, um, you add it into the computer of the approved terms and terminologies. Um, then uh, if you type something wrong from the team base, it will suggest uh, um, to use the one that's already been used. You go next, just go next. So everything is fine. Next, and then next, and you finish it here. Right, uh, hundred percent down. Right, so you can close this one, and you can see here Z testing. All right, let's open Z testing. <laughs> Z testing, um, so. Okay, so the project, so yeah, this project I already translate, so you can see um, it automatically matched 100% because I translate this one 
and then I put it in the system. So um, you don't need to worry anything because um, you just check whether this is a uh, uh, good and you can go next one. Um, look at this one. This is all correct the same on the targets here, and uh, I mean the the source here and the targets here. Okay. Uh, you can also add the single to view. You can add team connection connection here. You can see here. I look at I put it here my mouse here. Uh, this is you can put like a team base. Right, you can put it this way a little bit here. You can see a dash cost. Okay, cost it has a lots of um translation term that you can use uh in different way. Um you click here, okay, again um or you can click here and uh, it has all the things. So for this one you can see here R resistance. So it has already the team base of this thing. You can see underlie here are the one that it's already have. And here it is called and tell you that it match. But actually the source doesn't have this one. So you take it out. You can see here it doesn't have. You also take this one out. Alright. And then you can press control and enter and then go to the next one. Um, you can check whether they are all correct. There's no issues here. So you go to next. Uh, I found some issues here, so I do it correction. Um, you also need to check whether the language is. Um, I mean, your document is more on religious, medical translations, or whatever, so that um you can um actually um make the best uh, of the translation, fit it to the uh, topics. Because some terms may you have different terms here. You can see um, nursing home, uh, a lot of things up here. You can look at here. Um, so, so, control here. Right, so with this, um, after you translate everything, um, let's see uh, uh, the first one. Let me go back. That I have, you can see GTM, right? Okay. So this is um the the English version of uh, of the 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 studies on the document, and now um if you finish, okay, you can see here a hundred percent finish, right? So um this is quite good, um. But uh, let's see if you put it somewhere, you edit somewhere here. You not save. This is not save. And you edit somewhere here. And you not save. Okay. This I'm already not use any track change yet. So um, I'll just show you how this one works first. You can see some percentage here um, has not yet um, confirmed. So you have to confirm, confirm, and this one 100% completion. So with this um, example, you said you already finished everything and you want to exp you want to save target as. So you need to choose a photo um, the testing. Let's put it on the on here so it will be easier. So just put save GTM. Uh, let's say put Mong, right? Save. Uh, let's see. Let's open and see how it look like. So um here you can see uh let me show and tool yeah let me put it this one on the other side and here right so here you can see um um everything here that the the target is here the monks here um you can see here it keep all the format you see all the capital letters uh here as well the text uh, even the format the uh, spacing and everything you can see here. It is the same, but uh, this is English and this is the, the Hmong language. So that's easier because in the past where I did not know, I actually did a very difficult um, translation. Instead of doing a bilingual, it put a, a, a sentence on the left 
and the uh, tag and the right on this and this is translate uh, nicely sentence by sentence or paragraph and then after that you export or save as and then it will turn into a very nice format so before in the past i used to do like this when i'm a translation when i did i'll actually put this way and then i will say uh, injury i will just uh, put it here in different colors so i will put like um uh, injury for this one uh, um okay so yeah so this is uh something how i did uh, example i just did something like this and i finish um let me see i put it nicely and then i put it until i finish all these things down uh, let me see i put it finish and then after that i prove read up here and here then after that i finish i delete this one and i change the format so i need to look at the english one okay on the on um, the english version of the other one and i try to fix a uh, uh, last issues here so um, the, yeah, that's how I use uh, manually in the past. So this is something I learned uh, very good for SEO that I uh, can help a lot. Right. So with that, um, I'm going to uh, show you how to do um, uh, proof reading that will um, faster in your work. Just like what I said, if you do uh, something on on two page like this, and then you try to proof read on this sign. And then look back here, up and down. Sometimes you get lost because you're not sure where are you. And you sometimes you go look at the numbers, 2003, where is it? Let's check, where is it? It's something up here. And then you got lost here um, because the letter is somewhere, you school on the right, on the right, on the left. Okay. And then, um, Sometimes the text is too small for your eyes to you get hurt because you're working for long. Put it into bigger signs, but it got lost. Uh, so, um, yeah, you have to screw up and down, right and left. So you get lost along the track and making uh, lots of issues and spend lots of times. And um, accuracy is also a big issue here as well. Um, so with this, um, I'm not going to do a uh, proof reading in something like that. But I will do something like this. Let me check. So for this, you can actually um do a proof reading here if you want. If you are your clients or I mean your um translators have this software, they can use this one as well. They can do like if they want to proof reading and put the track change, you can just put it here and you can see um as example let's put in uh this is something here let me cut it out and then paste the same thing for examples uh you can do this one as well you can do this and cut this one and then put it paste here or you can do anything somewhere um here um <laughs> you can check uh, lots of things here and you just save so it fall into your your SDL file um, after this um, but uh, some people just did not know how to use this program so they would rather do it in uh, a word but uh, with this is still help very helpful as well examples you you put this one you export you go here review and export for review so you can see save before yes save yes and then you export here <laughs> so next um, go here you can choose different colors for you can see here perfect match color uh, and it's fuzzy colors of white no things you can choose this one you can choose whether um the, the bilingual will be on side by signed or top and down so I usually like to use a sign by sign and choose the photos and again look at um here the photos that um uh, you have I put it in here fairly long um tutorial so one here and then the testing 
It's this thing not too really long, so I put it here inside here. Very long. I put it here. Right, so you do that, you just click yes. Finish and then you got complete class here. And tell us whether you want to open. Yes, I want to open right now. Okay, you can see here STLs, you can see the review here. Okay. You can see the review here and uh, you see it's become something like this in a bilingual and people who does not have the program can edit somewhere here and this one already turned into track change right you can see here and you can even put comments now yeah, right so put this one uh, you can put up down okay let's put it here Some other words, uh, um, other words may be used, like, um, right, you can put something like this, um, in the comments, uh, you can fix something, example, you put something here, you say, oh, this is incorrect, and you want to delete this one, and you fix one, or, or maybe you just um, want to do something like, oh, this is a, uh, incorrect okay and you put something here i don't think something like that um you can save um um yeah you can do a lot of things uh, you don't touch on this sign because of this they call tax because this will be put into space and put it into a page put it into a, a capital letters or put it into um um, any uh, of the format uh, design called tags in SDLs and other uh, cat tools. So with this, you uh, you need to f make sure that all the tags uh, are the same. Um, so, uh, uh, but um, you need to worry much on uh, these things. So um, example, you finish these things and uh, you want to put. Um, save and then you want to update back let's say let's say we want to update back here so you can click on here okay and you can go to file uh, review and you choose uh, update from bilingual review after that um just wait um you will see something like this so just put next here um i would just you can go here doesn't matter you can go here at uh, specific file or you can yeah, let's say add specific file you need to go to folders uh, testing okay and this one and uh, you choose a uh, bilingual file you can see here the one that's already open um okay so with this um i will choose draft okay i, I will just choose draft because some um, uh, this is on draft one I go next and I finish okay complete okay you can see here and yes and you want to reopen again the file uh, you will see see here you can see here um, actually there's a comment somewhere here you can look at edit comments okay the comments is up here I put it all the words maybe use something like this I'll show you when we, we extract to the original file. So with this, you do this all corrections here. You can either go to review and you can accept, no, you can accept only this part. You can accept everything and it will go like this, right? But uh, or you can either put like this and um, put it um, this way, okay? So let's see um, if we um, want to um, save as targets okay and see if all this change appear there because i did not i put all the track chains here i did not take it out yet let's say we save as and uh, put it here again uh, let's say move one but just put it a little bit on outside easy access okay okay z testing uh z test uh you can put here yeah Mong one and save okay let's go back and see if it work um so 
you can look at it here okay mong one you can see here so you can see here at this time okay all of this um uh from from what we extract from the sdl program um translation assisted tools um so you can see here all the chart chains still here you can click here you see um you can hide all the chart change or you can show the chart change somewhere here so so um the, the good thing for this one is that if you uh your translators does not have the program um if they want to do an editing job for you then you can just extract to them in a bilingual file like this one bilingual file like this one and they can add they can prove reading and make it much easier you don't have to screw up and down because this is in, in the same field this is what it say here and this is what it say here all right so um it make very good for you you can make it bigger at this um um and then you can uh do this uh, pre-reading stage here on um, this already turn on the track change um so um, it's very easy for you to go very quick it's safe a lots of time to do it um so you can go down and fix it where necessary you don't need to touch this part again these are just uh, the tags or the tools that i'll be uh, keeping the format of the document and you can do easily this one as you can see it does not take only a statement some people are worried about um, um we might miss because it take out some part into um, a bilingual but you can see here uh it's a, a, a a statement or sentence end and another one and the next one here and here so um it even though this is only one line this is going to have been three line i mean two line and three line it doesn't matter it's the same here here um it's still on the same field so you can um at eye level so you can easily do it and save much of the time uh so far i work on this one i could see it save my times for translation reading rather than doing manual way of more than 10 times and you can example you just to finish a job within five to ten hours you can finish some tasks like this in one or two hours so you save a lot of times making um um your life better for this one and even consistencies you can go here um for the project program you can also go examples you can go to review um you can go verify and it can show you some issues here you can see here whether they are correct or not so it will see you that um what is the issues uh what are the here is it it suggests you to remove uh space there are lots of space issues uh look at other issues here um so yeah so it's had a lot of problem you see here uh there are a lot of problem here because uh here it, in the source it doesn't have the tag uh, i mean it had the tag here and then it doesn't have number 88 and 88 here so something wrong so example you put it here in this target you say one hundred one you can say nineteen ninety seven in uh, a number and here you write in the text you can you put in the text and then you say um one thousand nine hundred ninety seven into a text of a bit and then it will say well you are inconsistent because you use a different format um, so with this you can use a lot of um, um tools you can have some issues somewhere here it can verify for you as well you can see here something not really correct uh, it it take you here and it even tell you that um it was mong tm so mismatch okay look at here what is it again okay you can say error tag pair uh remove okay um other things uh it can also share issues and so this is something pretty nice so um yeah again here you want to put a comment here and it will appear in um 
let me say here the comments you see you can right oh, let's say right click right click on it and try to see if you can let's see let's put it into chat change modes for editing and see if you can put uh, anything else here or whatever um so you see um okay um the comments is here okay you choose this one and you put it right click up uh, right click and you can add comments okay um you can add comments you can put it here you can select to put in file information warning signed it's with good arrows here yeah, they say this is not correct okay so if you have to do like this um let's say it will um see something errors some uh, uh, issues this is not correct you put it um on the source now you don't you can't touch the source at all so um you don't need to worry to be worried about uh, some people might change your format i um, mean your source because this one is not allowed for you to touch at all unless the owner of the file give permission and change on his end so um what only the translators can do is to do on design so that um anything here um it does not affect the source at all this is the good things of this program as well so after you finish everything you can save here you can exit okay exit everything exit right so you can go back to the file um z testing uh you can go here SDL, this is a review one um right so um you can save into something like this for you okay so you don't need to worry about these things um it's just something quite good so i hope you can learn something and um reach out to me if you have any questions or you have any problems with um, your translation or i mean your pre-reading projects so um your work this is very helpful um there are lots of things you can do here so here you have already all your term base um i mean you have your memories so you can have your translation here okay example some term that you don't know you can go to the Hmong language um and you can type here example you want to know something very um unusual you're not sure what are other people using against social security this is widely used in the u.s um, that's what did they use so every time you translate your document this program will save it and put into memories so you can use later on and try to see how it help you in the future so, let's see search for social security look at here uh social security here in Hmong our language it use this one um you can see how it work here okay you can see social security here and you can see how they use it somewhere here as well or you can look at here social security act okay you can see here and uh, uh, you can see a uh, lot how people use different um clients may use different things um, um so you um, can actually use this uh, dictionary and these dictionary are not just a dictionary of a one person read it so you can get it from different clients how they use it and they have different terms that can be used it for this one social security numbers uh, some of them they just put um the mong here and they keep the social security here as in english first but some others they either some uh, translated okay see here this one it keep the same but some of this one medical, medical also here um some other places um they uh change it they use some um, you know um a local terms uh the explanation to match with that so you can have a lot of um, um vocabulary across out here and um yeah that's it um you um actually um can do a lot of things here. You got editors here. Um, let's see the team base that I have. Uh, let me go to view. Uh, view here, and I, I need to 
I need this Joomla connection up here. So examples, I want uh, instruction, and uh, I want to add this one into the team base because that's not right. So here, instruction, um, obsessive home. Yeah, I can go to quick add. Yes, I, because um, I select here instruction and the translation here. I'm not sure if it works. And then I put it, let's put here quick add it. I just put yes and it will add it into the, um, the team base okay it take a bit longer i've um, got some lagging here yeah so and then you can see here um already everything's our uh, team base is like a, a, a vocabulary burns you can see burns here and right here examples you want to use some um, term terms over here and you appear it that uh so you can actually click here and you can insert translation so it go up here right so it's it's easy you don't need to go to dictionary goggles if you have a lot of the um, memory here especially the glossary that created by your clients and you can put it here something you are typing incorrectly it can show up you can see here you can show up here that those are the ones that use or created by the um clients and they want it to be like that so this is something on SDL very easy um, you can reach out to me for more questions on if you have the um, other things you want to uh, yet want want some help so thank you so much for this we're going to exit one and thank you see you for next videos oops sorry